the idea behind this album, uh, Our New Earth, is uh, I think something that we all as human beings go through in the last 10 or so years. We feel and very strongly feel that the, the earth is changing, you know, something is changing, something is moving, the world is changing. And uh, in a way, uh, our new earth is almost like a prayer, really, for a better world, to see a better world after all this, after all this chaos that we, we are seeing these days, um, uh, you know, coming with so much technology and people being immersed in technology and mobile phones and computers and satnavs and things like that and also um, people uh, getting away from nature getting separated more and more from uh, the natural in, uh, habitat we have on this earth so it's like it's, it's sort of like a, a, a little prayer in music of what we would like the world to be after all this, after it's all done and dusted. Mainly, my compositions are mainly influenced by um, different cultures. Of course, my Polish culture, my native culture that is Polish, uh, plays a huge role in uh, my way of writing. Um, I also am very fascinated in Norwegian music. Uh, I love Swedish music. I love European music because my heart is connected very strongly with this kind of um, vibe and um, uh, for example I decided to uh, to take a Swedish herding it's called herding uh, calling that uh, you use when your sheep get lost somewhere on the meadow uh, and it's it, the name of it it's Kulning um, and I, I just took it, uh, took the original version of Kulnik and uh, tried to uh, mix it inside of uh, one of the tunes uh, that I wrote. <laughs> This band is, it's something very special to me. I love the musicians I'm playing with and I feel very, very lucky to be able to play with those amazing musicians. And um, I think each of us has a very um, special way of playing and each one is bringing something very, very particular uh, contributing to, to create the sound of the band. I'm Frank and I'm playing piano and uh, synthesizer on this recording. Um, I guess I'm using a bunch of different sounds that I've not used before. Um, Asaf and Sylvia have written some very, I guess, challenging music for me. It's, it's very, um, very different to other stuff I've played, and I've had to find uh, find sounds that work with that. Um, I'm playing church organ on some things, which is a first for me. Um, so it's it's a very exciting project for me, um, sonically um, as well as musically. This is this is again very different uh, to other projects. Um, Asaf and Sylvia both have a way of writing uh, 
harmony particularly, I mean melody definitely, but also harmony that I don't really understand. Um, it's, it's kind of from a completely different place and none of the usual jazz language works if you just try to play on it like any other tune. Um, so I think that's what's really exciting for me with this is, is trying to find a language that, that feels like it's still me, but it works with this music. I'm Kevin, I play um, electric bass, six string electric bass. Um, um, I, I come from Scotland originally. Um, I studied up there um, at university up there. Got to study with a great bass player called Mario Caribe for a number of years. Um, and then been playing in, uh, in London for, for about almost 10 years now, um, where I met Asaf and Sylvia Frank. And I've um, been playing with Asaf for, for a number of years. Um, I think we share quite a, a few influences, particularly that of uh, Alan Holdsworth, who's one of my heroes. And um, now playing the six string bass, that's informed me quite a lot, um, or it, it's influenced me rather in terms of how I approach the, the bass guitar. Uh, and particularly with the six string, having an extra range allows me to play chords and, and kind of clear sounding solos, I guess, because I've got the higher notes. With this band, um, there's some, there's several u unique things. I, I guess the, one of the things that um, spring, springs to mind is the, the instrumentation is, is slightly different from um, a lot of other groups that I play with. Um, in particular, the fact that there's a uh, church organ is featured quite heavily in, in this group, which is a different texture to play with. And also, I wouldn't say just the fact that there's just the added church organ. It's also the fact that the the um, there's different colours uh, involved um, by the, the different choices of instruments that are used. Um, so what I mean is Frank plays lots of different sounds. He plays some some church organs, some some Fender Rhodes, and a lot of piano as well. And each of those has a totally different colour and and kind of. Um, kind of inspires me to play in, dif in different ways, I guess. There's also also the the composition is is um, opens up quite a lot of doors because um, because of the way that the pieces have been composed, it allows me to play in different ways as well. There's there's some pieces where I get to play some chords and things that, um, that I wouldn't normally get to play in, in a lot of other groups. I think that this album is um, um, is channeling our thoughts, concerns, and uh, our dreams about how the change that is happening right now all over the world, uh, how it will end, where it will go, um, what will be the result of of, of this turbulent uh, time, you know, what, what, um, what will happen. So um, I think it's like a, our new earth is, is a, a huge dream, a dream that is not too cheesy. <laughs> it's a dream that, that is full of very awakened thinking and seeing things that shows the tensions that happens uh, in the world, but that also shows all the good stuff that is happening, that, that leads us to 
a kind of different realm, um, creating a new, new universe. This is a particularly uh, exciting project for me and for us as a band because uh, it involves so many things uh, that we've accumulated uh, learned and learned on the road uh, as a band and also for me personally because um, the music has so many different aspects uh, of so many things that I've learned in the last 10 or 15 years. Um, the first thing uh, that uh, I've been studying for a long time is uh, South Indian vocal percussion. That's the, it's called Konako, uh, which I perform on the uh, piece uh, Rooting by uh, Sylvia. The process of creating this album was a very special experience and uh, I really love the phases of creating of, of uh, the music. We didn't write all the compositions at the same time. We kind of waited until the whole conception of the album develops with the time. So um, we were starting to play a tour already with some of the new compositions and, and we were searching for new ideas uh, of the tunes that would um, kind of complete what is missing, what, what it needs, that uh, would bring some, some new mirroring of new experiences that, uh, that we had on, on the way of, of creating it. And uh, I also love this, um, the kind of approach that you, uh, you first try to make the music sound, you play the music and then you go to the recording studio and not, not to do the opposite. to me very often or, or uh, to many of my friends that you know you write the music you go to the studio you record the material and then you try to tour um, the album with the uh, with the material and in our case um, we started to tour the music to make it grow and to make it more and more mature to, to, to be ready to go to the studio and to, to record the material and I have to say that some of the tunes were created uh, like uh, two weeks ago and it still uh, kind of perfectly carries what it should, the, the emotional loading and the substance.
Our new album, which is called Our New Earth, will be uh, released uh, in uh, 2018, uh, hopefully by the spring of or summer. And we are really, really looking forward to play the new music and um, engage with our audiences and uh, play uh, all over uh, the UK, Europe and other places.